first big graduation is here. Transform the balance bike into a pedal bike. By attaching pedals to the balance bike, learning how to pedal will be very fast and easy since your child has already learned to balance on the bike. What do we have in the box? Let's dig in. Can you help me? A little cheat sheet about all the ways that the balance bike can be transformed. Easy as ABC assembly guide. Some screws and equally important some goodies for your little rider. A pedal mount with pedals. A 14 inch rear wheel. And a durable belt. If you already have an assembled leg and go balance bike, disassemble it and remove the 12 inch rear wheel from the main frame. That is the only part you won't need for your new pedal bike. Make sure to hold on to the lobe knobs that were used for attaching the wheel. If your balance bike is still in a box, locate the main frame and remove the 12 inch rear wheel. Take the main frame and the pedal mount and align the three holes on the pedal mount with the three holes on the frame. Use the three screws and the allen key provided in the pedal bike box. First, insert just one screw and tighten it a little bit, but not completely. Afterwards, insert the other two. It's very important not to tighten the screws too tightly. Let them be a little bit loose. The pedal attachment should slide freely, up to one and a half centimeters. Take the 14 inch rear wheel and belt and place the belt on the rear wheel gear. Before fastening the rear wheel to the main frame, make sure that the rear wheel gear and the pedal gear are on the same side. Attach the rear wheel with the two lobe knobs that were removed from the balance bike rear wheel. Fasten the lobe knobs in the bores closest to the pedals. Now place the belt on both gears. If you cannot get the belt in its place, loosen the three screws that are attaching the pedal mount to the main frame until the pedal attachment slides freely. Gently pull the pedal attachment away from the rear wheel until the belt is taut. Appropriate belt tension is very important and ensures a safe and comfortable ride. If the belt is not taut enough, it will skip sprockets while pedaling fast or pedaling in a standing position. Hold it in place until you have screwed all of the screws tightly with the Allen key. Let's check if the wheel and belt are spinning freely and smoothly. We can also see how the coaster brake functions. Now the part that is familiar to all of the balance bike owners. Take the seat mount and align the pegs on the main frame with the third bores from the bottom. Insert the big lobe knob in the second bore from the bottom. And then slide the front fork into the slot and fasten it tightly. The pedal bike is ready for the ride of a lifetime. For smooth and easy cruising, don't forget to check the tire pressure. It has to be 1.4 bars and make sure to check routinely. If this setting is not suitable for your child, watch our video for tips on adjusting the bike height and size.